Good afternoon. Today, many people around General Counsel are wearing black, an acknowledgement of a movement called Thursdays in Black, uh, working towards an end to gender-based violence. So today I am joined by Karen Georgia Thompson from the United Church of Christ, one of our uh, full communion partners in the United States. Welcome, Karen Georgia. Thank you. So thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. At our last General Council, General Council 42 in Cornerbrook, you were one of our guests at that council as well, and you invited us as a court on the Thursday of GC42 to all wear black. Yes. And this was, I think, for many in the United Church, the first time this invitation was extended. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit about your history with Thursdays in Black and, and why you brought it to General Council 42 with that invitation? Sure. Um, I think for me, um, Thursdays in Black um, is a part of the uh, ministry of the World Council of Churches. And I had been around the World Council. Um, I knew that they were trying to revive um, the Thursdays in Black um, campaign and um, thought that it would be appropriate. Um, our General Synod doesn't fall over a Thursday, <laughs> but okay. your GC um, General Council did. And so I thought it would be, you know, really a good experience um, and a way to introduce people to the campaign and also I think get people to participating um, in what is um, I think uh, a necessary movement um, and also it's a way of getting the church involved um, you know in some resistance work <laughs> by wearing black because we wear black because it's a sign of resistance. Absolutely. And so over the past three years, mm -hmm. uh, it's been neat to kind of see um, definitely general counsel staff every Thursday yes. get together and stand in front of this sign and take a picture. And I've started to notice, especially over the past year, more and more people in the United Church taking selfies on Thursdays wearing all black and posting about Thursdays in black. Mm -hmm. um, and is this something you're noticing in the United Church of Christ as yes. well? Yes, so um, so when we first started, um, it was staff. Mm -hmm. um, I just kind of rallied the staff one Thursday and said, you know, let's do this. Yeah. Um, and then it became a part of our full communion conversation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, let's do Thursdays in Black together bi-nationally. Yeah. Um, it's easy, you know, it's hashtag Thursdays in Black. Um, people are encouraged to take selfies in Black and to post. And usually when I post, I post statistics about mm -hmm. uh, gender-based violence. Um, whether it's in the U.S. or globally. And so I have noticed that there are more people um, who've seen it, um, seen the hashtag, seen the posts, who are joining in and congregations, young people who are saying, like, this is important, so let's make this happen. And also, because it's a global movement, um, it's also beyond the church. So um, typically, um, the you know international YWCA folks will post mm -hmm every Thursday and so it's always interesting to go to Twitter yeah. and um, put in the hashtag and see who's posted um, that week. Great opportunity for partnership beyond our church walls. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely and I think that um, we have to be looking at those ways to be in mission and solidarity together in order to change the world. Thank you so much, Karen Georgia, for taking the time to talk with us today, for offering that invitation in 2015 to the United Church of Canada, and for being with us again here at General Council 43 and helping us to continue to work towards educating one another as we wear black and work for an end to gender-based violence. Thank you.